Hello, hi, it's your girl, Mince Pie. This was a very unexpected unboxing review. You know when you have your eye on something and you're like, eh, this can run. I already gave it a heart and a like at the beginning of the year on Drop List because I did like the look of it. I just said, you know, let's, let's get closer to the time. You know, not everything is confirmed in January 2021. So let's get into it. This is gonna be my unbox and review of my Air Jordan 1 prototypes. I'm not gonna get into the details of the outer box. It's your typical sneakers delivery, okay? Like, typical pull string. Let's get into it. I'm not gonna lie, the colors on this, when I see them online, it's very nice. You know, the colors are definitely um, something that I was already attracted and drawn to. Wait a second, I think, you know what, yeah, I've been holding on to this, like, unbox for quite a while, so I forgot how the box even looks. This is beautiful. Oh. This totally reflects the shoe. I love it when Air Jordan do this, I absolutely love it, like, oh, that's like how it felt with, like, the Jordan 1, that like, in the mids, the pollen mids. Damn, those boxes. Oh, it's in shivers of your spine. It's just like, oh, I got something special. It is the same design in regards to the positioning of the logo. You know, that that's remained the same. But the design for the actual overall box, it is very much giving. Okay, yeah, get into it. Like, what, this color, this color is beautiful. Beautiful. For the design that's on the shoe, this is so fitting. Nike logo found all over. Grey back with orange information up here. And using the cut lines and the colours, we see something that is completely different on the front of this box. It is beautiful. Ah, oh, that will never get old. I will never get tired of opening my sneaker boxes. I think I saw be 40, like, opening my boxes like, oh. Might as well be sitting there with no shoes in my car. Poverty is a disease. Oh, no, oh, I don't even want to show you yet. Oh my God, these shoes are so pain. Huh? Bruv, first of all, it comes with like this coffee stained tissue paper. It has got a glossy feel um, on the front of it. It is quite glossy, but the sh armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get into the shoe. I made such a good choice, okay? Shut up, ha! Shut it, keep it closed. I didn't go into this confidently. I went into this like, this could be an L, but I am pleasantly surprised. The only thing I'm gonna say straight away, those black laces need to go in the bin. The quality on those are terrible. So I did just swap them out straight away for the white. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it yet. I feel like black might go better, but I feel like the black kind of like sunk in to the tongue of the shoe. So I'm, I'm just not entirely sure. So if you think that I've chosen a terrible color, don't shoot me. It came with white as an option if it, you know, it wouldn't go then it wouldn't have come with it would it gosh judgy much we have a variety a variety of materials going on here so for the back heel and the neck swoosh it's more of a patent leather um it's not exactly matte because it's really smooth to touch just like the gray shimmery type of material that's just above it i'm so sorry i'm trying to explain it as best as i can for you guys with the visuals of course the uh, midsection it gives me more of a premium leather type of vibe like your typical leather that you would find on a jordan one um, but these other materials are definitely not what you would normally find on a jordan one your toe section and the eye stay where you would find the holes to lace your shoes that is a suede but the suede is gray but a tint probably a tiny tint of maybe purple 
underneath it actually there's now another material that is actually grey and I think it's the same grey that's found like around the Nike swoosh um it's like a doubled doubled layer um toe section this grey strip underneath it is actually reflective I found that kind of cute like it's subtle it's subtle enough for you to not really kind of think about it too much but is there I don't think it's a bad touch at all. I think it's nice. It, it doubles up quite nicely and it really does stick to its name of prototype. They threw everything at this shoe completely and said, listen, let's just put it on the shelves. If it works, it works. And um, one thing I have to say is that it worked. <laughs> it did. Where the lace loop begins, we have this Nike swoosh in bright orange I think it's such a nice touch because it even matches up with the tongue as well as the foam that is in the tongue as well. We'll get into it. We will get into it because I'll tell you why it's there in a second. The orange stitching, beautiful touch to add to this shoe. And overall, normally I knock Nike for something. Normally I knock Jordan and say, did it need that colour though? Did the sole need to be that colour? But look at it. And then additionally, the back heel as well has one type of, I'd say, turquoise. I mean, fine art was a long time ago, all right. But it's like a turquoise dark blue that we have in the back. And it's similar to this patent leather that's used for the swoosh and the back heel, the black back heel. Um, so we have that on the top and then we have a blue, like a lighter blue suede that goes across that patent leather. It's the same suede that you find in the front of the shoe. It just all goes like Nike. This is a win it's a massive win it's a massive win and the one thing i'm happy about is that when this video goes out you can still cop it's very much available even if it's for 10 pounds more 20 pounds more maybe 50 if someone wants to be cheeky maybe but even then worth it if you want to get a jordan one and you're thinking you don't know what's getting on to get this is it do you know how much you can match up with this shoe this shoe is outfit galore, outfit central. And I think that's what ties in with the name prototype. Like it literally looks like a prototype, like something that was, you know, put into the samples and they're like, oh, here's five drafts of a new Jordan one we can release. And they're like, oh, I like that one. Chuck some suede on there, maybe some patent leather, a bit of premium leather, chuck in some dead laces. And I mean, let's sell it. Can you imagine? Their prototype is actually in our hands. We've actually gone to go and buy their prototype. So the thing that probably was never gonna touch the shelves potentially is in our hands. Right now, potentially, potentially. The one thing you would have noticed about this shoe is the dashed line that is around the top half of the shoe. And basically, Jordan have created this shoe for you to also make your own. So you can keep it as a high or you can cut it and make it a low. I've seen it as a low, definitely not a fan of the low. Um, and additionally, I don't know how the tongue would work because the tongue is designed for a high. So I, 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 I haven't really gone far looking into details and stuff and how this would work. Yeah, I just, I'm not sure how it would work. So one thing I do have to say about Nike right now, the quality control hasn't really been up to par. If that means the Travis Scott's that I got previously, the logo not aligned properly, or additionally my off-white dunks never appearing, <laughs> even though I got them confirmed in the app, <laughs> suddenly, poof, disappeared. When there is any of those, the quality hasn't been up to par, I feel like it can be much better. Um, I've had friends that have received their dunks um, from Nike of recent especially, there's been creases, there's been dents, and um, today I noticed that with these shoes um, as I was unboxing, there is a slight crease, um, it doesn't feel like it's been tightened around this area. That's the only thing I would, I guess, have a complaint about. Um, but regardless, I guess I am gonna wear them out, it's just that, these creases to begin with is not very fun you know you like your shoes to be fresh um really tight produced like 
you wouldn't want any looseness or any area of flaw or fault really to begin with so yeah one thing to just know and put out there alongside their dead quality black laces they come with orange and blue as well um i don't know i'm not really i don't know you guys should know me well enough by now i'm not really a swap lace type of person like I normally just keep it in the standard lace that it comes in um, apart from my sea foams actually with my sea foams I got I switched it out because that red and white lace it just said what I was not doing it for me it wasn't it wasn't so I had to switch it out um, yeah but this comes with orange and blue you know and then the dead dead quality black lace but oh i just it's too loud for me it's just way too loud i don't think i would i would do it you know i know like people oh the blue maybe maybe i don't know yet but you know how with the travis scott's like people use the pink laces i know you're supposed to but for me it's just like no i'm a boring babe fine i'll take it but no <laughs> i'm not really feeling it in regards to sizing and comfortability, this is where I, you know, started second guessing myself. I wasn't sure if I wanted these that badly, but they only um, dropped down to a size six. So I'm a UK five, 5.5 in some Jordans, um, if I'm desperate or if I just want a 5.5. And the smallest size these came in was a UK six. I just got them. I didn't even blink. I just said, yeah. Let's just go for it. Let's go. Let's get it. You know? When I put them on, they are a little bit big, like a tiny bit. But if you're like me, that, you know, I can fluctuate. I can go 5, 5.5, 5, 4, 6. But if you're like me, where I can, like, kind of move around and I'm all right, like, it, I'm not really fussed, um, then you'll be fine with the 6. Honestly, you'll be perfectly fine with it. Um, I would only say go up a size if you're a size five like me and you really want these other than that just get a size if you want just a little bit of space a 0.5 up um only because the front of the jordan one is quite narrow um i mean maybe my foot's just fat but i think it's quite narrow um yeah so if you feel as though you want that extra bit of comfort you know you don't want them toes poking in the front you don't want the big toe mold you don't want it so if you don't want that then i mean half size up it won't hurt it won't hurt nobody okay comfortability um i will actually say they feel a bit more comfortable on the heel like i don't know if this makes sense but your heel um area at the back um normally it feels like it's rubbing against something it's not as comfortable but this has some cushioning on the side that i feel like i haven't really noticed in my other shoes um it's a lot more cushiony it feels a lot better actually um in regards to that back heel bit um but in regards to like your step how your foot lands it is um probably exactly the same like is there's no difference there but that heel bit i feel a bit more comfort i can't lie maybe it's just in my head but i just thought to put it out there you know these retailed for £145, it's a Jordan 1, you're normally going to be in those hundreds unless they have a junior shoe for you and for me, but um, you know, we were stuck with the adult sizing. I got these via sneakers, well it wasn't my sneakers, but I got this via sneakers app, but they were available in a lot of places like via raffle. I haven't seen them in store or on shelf, so I'm sorry about that, but as I said, resale is not bad. This is one of those shoes that listen the hype beast didn't get a hold of it you know what i mean like they didn't get a hold of it and drive the resale up and make it go crazy because this is actually a shoe that i would i would recommend anyone to buy you know and it doesn't always have to be these grails or the hype shoes and whatnot like this is something that was actually quite low-key and look at me in love if you pay a couple 10 20 30 above retail price i believe it's oh happy days i don't think it's the end of the world um but in regards to other jordan ones you'll be paying like quadruple the price so if you do miss something come to my channel just in case like there might be something low-key over here you know you never know you never know but anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share all them things there. And I will see you in my next one. Stay blessed, stay sweet, and stay safe.